Hey guys, Matt here, and today's hiking adventure brings me to Withalacoochee State Forest. And today I'll be doing the Hog Island Trail. It's near the Kroom, not too far from the Kroom area, Kroom Wildlife Management Area and Kroom Trails near the Withalacoochee River. It says it's going to be about a 10.4 mile out and back. And it's not too bad today. It's uh, it was cloudy and kind of a little foggy, and you can definitely tell a lot of stuff's wet. So it probably rained last night, but it looks like it's gonna hold off till afternoon. So I should be all right this morning. But looks like a pretty nice one. I didn't. This is today Saturday. I didn't do my Friday because they had uh, hockey game yesterday game seven and bolts won Santa cup finals <laughs> but i didn't want to get caught in some of that traffic coming back from my hike yesterday so i thought i'd just wait a day and do today but looks pretty nice just saw a couple deer or just as i started but looks nice i don't think it's gonna be too sunny so i don't have to worry about that but Nice shade and nice trees area and stuff. This is the kind of stuff I usually like. Alright guys, well I'll get back with you in a little bit. Alrighty. Hey guys, Matt again. I'm about three miles down the trail and it's been going pretty good so far. Looks like the clouds did burn off a little bit, so there's a little bit of sunshine coming through. And it's definitely humid, boy. The trouble with your uh, sunglasses and your camera lens fogging up. And, but the trail's been pretty good so far. Definitely see a lot of spots that would be you know swampy and full of water but they're still dry so it's we've been dry enough before that it's been soaking up all the rain we've been getting so we're not to the, <laughs> the flood point yet <laughs> but definitely lots of spider webs that's for sure man some of them are hard to see and <laughs> run into them and all kinds of stuff at least on the way back we won't have to worry as much <laughs> but Whoa, dang limbs. But other than that, it's going pretty good. Let me see what we got up here. Ah, there we are. That's kind of kind of good timing. Right there's the with the Lacucci River. All right guys, well, I'll get back with you in a little bit. Alrighty.
Hey guys, Matt here. I'm about six and a quarter down the trail. And the actual trail went farther than this map on all trails said. So I was like, oh, I'll just go down a little bit farther, make a little bit longer of a hike. Because it continued under the Interstate 75 across a little, looks like a dirt road or something, and then cut off onto the trail again. So I thought I'd do about six and a quarter out and back. So that should give me about 12 and a half. So that's a nice number, a, lot better, a little bit better of a number for me. <laughs> but it's been real nice. It's definitely burnt off and it's getting a little sunny, but most of the trail has been almost all shade or decent shade at least. So that's been good. <laughs> but it's been pretty nice just for some of the or a lot of the trail it's been either have you know that road noise off in the distance and then obviously going underneath it it was pretty loud there but so saw a few more deer but that's about it I haven't seen too much else even though Plus, I think this trail is, is like a combination of trails, not just Hog Island. I think there's some other trails connected to make it, and they just called it Hog Island Trail. <laughs> but, all right, guys, well, I'll get back with you in a little bit. Alrighty. Hey guys, Matt here. I'm about 10 miles down the trail. It's going pretty good. It's been pretty peaceful. I haven't seen anybody hiking the trail. I did see a couple, one guy fishing on the, along the river and saw a couple people on a boat, a kayak or something, or a canoe or something going down the river. But other than that, it's been pretty desolate and peaceful. So that's always good. I just did see a, not too long ago, I saw aardvark. <laughs> I tell you, that reminds me of the time I first saw one when I, when I first moved to Florida. I was going to my car and one come out of the bushes and man, it scared the crap out of me. I'm like, what the heck's that? I'm like, oh, it's a freaking aardvark. I'm like, I didn't even know they had them in Florida. <laughs> but yeah, that's something, especially living up in Pennsylvania. I mean, it's like, I never saw them before. <laughs> But, all right guys, well I'll get back to you in a little bit. Alrighty. Hey guys, Matt here. Well, I made it back. It was about 12 and a half miles and it took about five hours. Well, overall it was a real nice day. You know, it was cool, kind of coolish in the morning. A little cloudy and a little foggy. But it did burn off, but there was enough tree cover for most of the time that it wasn't really a problem. It was humid as heck though, so you're always sweating no matter what. <laughs> but it was real nice, you know. Saw lots of deer. Even saw ard bark and saw a little snake right before I come back and stuff. But trail's in good shape. It's still not flooded yet, so a couple places there was maybe a tree down or a limb down or something, but overall not too bad. So this was the Hog Island Trail plus I think maybe a couple more little trails combined here with the Lacoochee State Forest and the trail parking is not too far from Hog Island Campground. Well, as always, I thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd sure love it if you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you have anything for me, just let me know down below in the comments. I'll make sure to get back to you. Well, this is Matt signing off. I'll see you next time. All right. Thanks, guys.